I'm sure you've heard before, the National Weather Service will be surveying the area for damage before they can determine if the tornado was an EF 1, 2, 3, and so on. But what is it that they're looking for to clue them in on the intensity of a tornado? So let's go ahead and start with EF 0, with winds of about 65 to 85 miles an hour. This is considered minor damage, and about half of all tornadoes are determined EF 0. With an EF0, they look for broken branches off of trees, peeled surfaces off of some roofs, damage to gutters or siding, and shallow rooted trees are pushed over. Also, tornadoes that remain in open fields with no reported damage are considered EF0. On to EF1 tornadoes with winds from about 86 to 110 miles an hour or moderate damage. About 30% of reported tornadoes fall into this category. The aftermath includes severely stripped roofs, windows, glass broken, exterior doors ripped off, and mobile homes becoming overturned or badly damaged. The March 21st, 2022 tornadoes in Gerald and in Giddings are considered EF1, at least preliminarily. EF2 tornadoes are suspected in Round Rock, Granger, Elgin, and Kingsbury. EF2 winds are 111 miles an hour to 135 miles an hour, and this is called considerable damage. About 10% of tornadoes are EF2s. The damage includes roofs ripped off of homes, mobile homes totaled, large trees snapped or uprooted and vehicles are lifted off the ground as we saw with the Chevy truck in Bastrop County. Next is EF3 or severe damage with winds of about 136 to 165 miles an hour. About 3.5% of tornadoes fall into this category. The survey team looks for entire stories of homes ripped off, damage to large buildings, bark ripped off of trees, heavy cars are lifted and thrown, and trains can be overturned. Next, we have EF4, which is considered extreme to near total destruction. Winds with an EF4 are 166 to 200 miles an hour. About 0.7% of tornadoes fall into this category. This is where heavy cars are lifted and projected long distances. Well-constructed homes and whole frame houses are entirely leveled. And finally, the most deadly and rare EF5 tornado with winds of over 200 miles an hour. And this accounts for less than 0.1% of tornado reports. It falls under the massive damage category and the aftermath includes strong frame houses lifted off their foundations and swept away. Steel reinforced concrete structures are critically damaged and high-rise buildings suffer severe structural distortion. In 1997, Gerald in Williamson County faced an EF5. And the peak of tornado season in the Austin area is in May. So now is the time to make sure that you and your family have a plan. Stay weather aware. And this was Did You Know with Adelie Rowe, Fox 7 Austin.